technology, bigger doesn't always mean better. Well, sometimes it does. Let's get into it. What's up guys, Dev Warrior here. Welcome back to another Tech Thursday. And today is actually gonna be a very special video. And as you probably already saw from the thumbnail and title, I am going to be unboxing the Think Vision P, the Think Vision P27H20. As you can see, this was a big boy. I'm glad I got that out of there because I had literally no leg space. And, uh, you know, Think, um, like Think Visions are, are from Lenovo. As you can probably already tell, I think it's somewhere on here. I don't know if yeah, but right down here it is Lenovo. Uh, it's supposed to be some really, really good high-end monitors that are supposed to have foam stands built into them. They have a pretty good amount of hertz, and they're 2K monitors. You know, they're 1440p uh, QHD. They're supposed to be very high-end. I'm really excited for this, and you guys probably can't even see my head right now. But if you could, if you if you didn't see my face right now, it is lit up, and I'm really excited. So yeah, without any further ado, let's open this up. So let me just move a couple things out of the way here. This is really really big, like I already said. So all right, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's just cut through this right here. And that's it. So here, here we go, guys. I'm really, really hyped. Can't wait to try this out. Probably gonna try something on the Switch or um, on a laptop, but I I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. You probably can't see it again because of the angles, but this is the only way. This, this thing this, is, this thing's huge, guys. You don't even know. All right. Here we go. Insert universal theme here. Let's get that out of the way. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Guys. Here we go. Here we go. Think Vision, man. There it is. The Think Vision. I don't even touch that for now. We'll get to that later. Uh, we have a pretty basic plug, it looks like here. Uh, plug it, plug into a wall outlet. Looks like you have a USB to USB cable. This is going to be very useful because I'm probably going to be trying this out. Trying to put this up to a Chromebook, see what happens. For me, this is, these are both display ports. They look kind of like HDMI ports, but I think it's, you can kind of tell if you look closely, it's not HDMI. This right here, I don't even, what is this? Oh, I believe mean, this is, yeah, this is a stand. So here you can hold like your phone here. So like if you're in a meeting or whatever, and you want to hook up your phone camera to your uh, uh, PC via, you know, there's, there's apps that allow you to do that. If you want to do that, then this makes it very convenient. We also have a screw here at the bottom. Um, this is the first time I've ever unboxed a monitor, so I, 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 don't, I don't really know much about like the setup process of these kind of things, but all I know is that this is going to be dope. Um, so here is this as well. Um, yeah, all right. So this is this is supposed to go at the back of the monitor, I believe, to kind of uh, connect this to the stand, the main stand. So. Apparently, we're just supposed to put this down right here and sound this into place. Woo, there we go. So that snapped on, there we go. Pretty, pretty tight right there, as you can see. Very firm. And, and I think we would probably have to screw this on. So give me a second, let me get my screwdriver. So I just realized that my screwdrivers were on my desk the entire time after looking around for like 30 minutes. So now I hate myself. So 
scoliosis. Do they only guess? That should be it, actually. I think I think that was a fairly simple set. I mean, it's a monitor. It's not like I'm building a PC over here, guys. So. Yo. This thing is huge. This is, um, usually when you get something like that's in a box this size, it's really small. Like, one time I got a Lego set that was in a box this size. The Lego set was like, was like this big. I'm not even joking, so. I'm, I'm generally surprised at the size of this. For comparison, so right now the monitor I use is this. It's not really a monitor, but I, I you know, I, it's like a drawing tablet, but it's also a monitor. This is my Huion um, Canvas uh, 14, I believe. I think this is 13, actually. So here's my Huion Canvas 13. And as you can see, this thing dwarfs it. Like, this thing is... Here, let me like it's just this thing is massive man so like even if i put these behind each other you'll see that this is just humongous this thing is just humongous guys yo look how big this thing is like i'm, I'm ducking uh but still like look, look at the relatives to my head and my body i just need to emphasize this all right see ya um yeah i think this is really cool Pretty sure you should also be able to adjust the height of this. I don't want to mess with that right now. But, yeah, it's really cool. You have a, a certification sticker, I believe. Right here on the side. I, I don't, I don't, I mean, if it works, I'm good. But, uh, yeah. So, like I said, that's supposed to be uh, 1440p at 60 hertz, which is really good, especially for gaming. Getting a solid 60 FPS is pretty good. I know nowadays that's not that impressive, but, like, you definitely want the minimum for your FPS to be 60, that's like that's like the bare minimum when it comes to PCs and consoles. Unless you're on Switch, then the you know, bare minimum would probably be 20. Um, so, like I said, this this is 1080p, and um, this is 1080p. I don't know the exact amount of hertz on it, but I'm assuming it's probably around 30 to, to 60. Actually, I, I'd probably give it a 60. It's been pretty smooth. So this is definitely gonna be a big step up from 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 this. This is this is you know for drawing. This is actually for like viewing stuff. I already got like twenty fingerprints on it just from like picking it up and stuff. But yeah, I think this is really really cool. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, I'm gonna plug this in. All right, guys. So looking at the back of this monitor, you can see that it has two USB A ports right here. They're not USB 3.0, uh, however. So that might affect uh, a couple things, but still pretty good. Also, we have an Ethernet port here, which is I was actually thinking about why would it have an Ethernet port if it doesn't have an interface of its own or uh, a system or a brain or anything like that. I think that this might be a smart monitor. I will do more investigating on that later. However, next up we have I think this is a Display Port. Uh, we have a USB-C uh, port for like you know uh, displaying and stuff comes with the cable. Uh, another display port, same as this one, and a HDMI port. But I'm especially, especially um, curious about this. So I'm going to go ahead and check out this because, I mean, I wonder why there was an Ethernet port on here, so. So, also, yeah, obviously the, the power plug. And yeah, that, there's the power plug, but you're probably wondering how I am managing to, like, get these kind of angles. It's actually because I have the thing off of its stand right here, as you can see, it's not on the stand, like, where it usually is. And it's because it actually detaches very easily. But, uh, l let me, let me show you that. Yeah, guys, so as I mentioned before, this actually has a really cool mechanism where it can detach and, um, attach to the stand that it comes with. So earlier you saw I actually attached it. Now I'm going to be reattaching it. So if I just lay it down like so, I can just do that. This is big brain move right here, guys. You wanna yeah do that. So if you ever detach the stand, I wouldn't recommend uh, like reattaching it while it's stood up, just because that's probably gonna make things harder for you. But yeah, there we go. So I'm just gonna attach that. And yeah, guys, once it's on, it's on. Like, it's very very sturdy. So as you can see, even when I like. I try to tap it or whatever. It's very sturdy. Matter of fact, it actually turns. So this stand allows you to turn the thing because of 
I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a swivel point right here. So this circle allows you to move around the monitor and, and whatnot, which I think is really, really cool. Also, you can move up and down the monitor because of some joints right here. I know you can't see them, okay, let me show you. See the joints right here allow it to move up and down. And then I'm pretty sure you can also, can you, yeah, you can also rotate it. Yeah, this is super, super dope. I think this is gonna be really, really handy for setups. I know a lot of people set up, they have them like, like some vertical monitors on the sides. This is just, this, guys, this is really cool. And I think that this is gonna be very useful for a lot of people. Also, so like I said earlier, you guys, it's gonna detach and you just hit the switch and then it will allow you to come from this way and then, oh wait, and then detach it. All right, guys, after a bit of troubleshooting, I finally have managed to get my setup completely working. And as you can see, when I move around with the mouse, it moves around. And I think this is really, really cool. And I can actually mirror this as well if I wanted to. So now these are mirrored, so now everything that's on here will be on here. But I think I like the multiple display version of this better. Just, I just think it's really cool. So there we go, guys. That is the unboxing on the P27H-20 ThinkPad monitor. If you enjoyed this unboxing, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment. And I do have something very special coming, I think, in either the next or the, the, the following Tech Thursday. So definitely make sure you have notifications on because I'm, I'm planning on doing something, something pretty, pretty cool, at least in my opinion. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty much sums up this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Peace.